welcome back guys so today I'll be doing a video on my new deck that I just made it's the fusion deck as you can see I'm using Seto Kaiba because of his skill peak performance and my deck is based off of uh, a skull red bird which is wing by using peak performance skill I my wing beast and dragon zombie I mean dragon cards can gain an extra 200 attack and defense so which means it's easier for me to it has a high stat for my wing beast also for the pump for the fusion deck you would need polymerization which you can get from uh, Joey by doing uh, no getting level 5 level 5 Joey Wheeler and get no leveling Joey Joey Wheeler to level 5 and then the rest you have to buy from card card trader or card dealer and so you would have you would need to have three because your chances of drawing the food polymerization gets higher also you would need the Fusion cards Crimson Sunbird. What I have is Meteor B Red B Dragon and Great Mammoth a Gold Find. So the cards to summon those fusions is Red Eyes B Dragon, Skull Red Bird, Dragon Zombie, Meteor Dragon, and Faith Bird. So what you would need you will need those cards to summon your fusion monsters. Also, I have Goddess with the Third Eye, which also helps you can substitute this card for any one fusion monster, which is really really good. And since I have nothing else to put in, I put in the Black Dragon's Chick, which helps me special summon Red Eye Speed Dragon from my hand. And I have other cards such as Wonder Balloon, Shard of Greed, which helps me draw cards so then I can draw into uh, one of the monster cards or fusion or polymerization. And I have support cards that help support my deck, my monsters. And yeah. And that's my. And this is my fusion deck. And uh, here I'll do some demonstration. I'll do a demonstration of how good and OP my fusion deck is. So we're going second. I'll just put on all the duel because it's faster. Ooh, he debuffed it. Damn. Oh no. What? See, uh, computer players aren't even fair. They don't even try to be fair. Like it's almost every time they get the win. If I can draw like polymerization, I think I can win. Yeah, I just need polymerization. Oh shit. Okay, GG. Well, the computers are way too overpowered. Their deck is too structured. Making it really hard to beat them. Here, I'll show you guys another example. <laughs> and we're going second this time. Ooh, so we have this. 
Oh, I thought he was gonna start the same way. So I have Polymerize Agent, I can activate Polymerize Agent to Polymerize and Fusion Summon my Great Mammoth of Gold Farm. And I have Baby... what was his name? Bait Black Dragon Chick. Actually a really good card. Why summon it in attack mode? A oh, Wonder Balloon. That's why. So it's just gonna keep lowering my monster's attack, which doesn't matter anymore. Wait, it's all in defense. What? Why? Why you put in defense? Fine. What is he doing? Red eyes, B dragon. Dude, Wonder Balloon. Good thing I have all these trap cards to save me. He's just he's just using Wonder Balloon. And there's another polymerization and fusion summon. Meteor. B Dragon. Really good card. And as you can see you can at least fusion summon two times or the, or the very least you don't s fusion summon at all if you're not lucky and just lose before you get to those cards so the goal is you get to the fusion polymerization before your opponents kill you that's why you have lots of stalls and other cards and I'll show you no one more example Put it on auto duel again. It'll be tons of fun. Man of courage. What? See, I'm with even without the polymerization, I can still win the game. And that's how I structure my deck, so then it's not dependent on the polymerization. Because if you're really dependent on polymerization, you might lose if you run out of polymerization, or if you never get to it. And if you really want a fusion structured base deck, you would keep it to. 20 cards so you would take out some of my cards for example I would like take out cards and then to make it until like 20 until it's at least 20 cards so then you have a higher chance of getting to polymerization and if that's what you want you can just do that you don't have to copy mine but I prefer to use mine and not be too dependent on the polymerization. Because, yeah, I don't want to be too dependent because your opponent might be able to counter your polymerization or your fusion monsters. Like, what if they have, they just keep summoning Hain Hain and then. He just keeps returning a fusion monster to your hand. And then you have no choice. So 
See look, the hand hand where you just put it back into your hand. Red Eye Speed Shake is actually really useful. I mean, uh, Baby Black Dragon is really useful in Zakar. I should get more of those cards. Or more of, uh, Baby. Chick. I, I need more of those. I should make like a Joey Wheeler deck or Red Eyes Beat Dragon deck. And there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also comment below. And see you guys next time.